Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for December 6th, 2022. Well, yesterday those bears ended up having a little bit of a bear party, um, but it really didn't change anything in the charts. It might have been a little bit painful for those that have chased in here recently, but overall, the bulls held up here on the day. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Now, although those bears had a little bit of activity in them yesterday, I want you to notice that we really didn't break anything down. There is a little tiny bit of concern, but overall, I think we're okay. First off, if you'll notice right in here, let me just drop a line in here. As you can see, we did lose that price support in the chart. Um, which probably raises a little bit of concern in the market. But overall, if you take a look, as I kind of suggested yesterday, um, you know, if that support um, gives up, then we look for that possibility of that full whipsaw of that big upside day. And we, we really uh, kind of played that out yesterday. We pushed all the way back down into this level of price support in the chart. Now, what that means is, we're kind of setting on a cliff edge here and if those bears were to find some inspiration and break that well then we run into a little bit of concern if that were to fail in here then maybe a push down into this area would be possible so watch that close however if those bulls come in and defend and i kind of expect them to defend um not that it'll be a defense that could you know bounce us all the way back up but i kind of suspect at least for a little while we're going to try to hold on to this area um, in the chart which honestly would be a bullish sign for the market if we can hang in here if we could lighten up the big dramatic price swings and do a little bit of a choppy consolidation in here that would actually be very very healthy for the market um, whether that can occur and you know normally the market it does not you know I'll, I'll say that's my wish um, rarely does the market give me what I wish so watch that carefully in here but if they do bounce up off of this if we find bullish inspiration today to bounce up off of that area then once again we're going to watch this resistance area in the chart and see if we can push back through that if we can push back through that then we're going to be looking for that resistance high up here again um, if if those bulls find that inspiration now if we take a look at our technicals here in the chart one of the reasons I'd like to see the consolidation and a light range consolidation not these big point swings that we've been seeing more of a lighter consolidation mode is to allow these moving averages to catch up because we're so far extended from many of those um, we're, we're just parabolic particularly in the Dow so we we need to see um, a little bit of calming come into the market um, but with hopes of Santa Claus rally and fears of, of um, next year's um, recession and um, FOMC next week you know expect that volatility to remain pretty substantial let's take a look at the SPY SPY we continue to hold this price support. And again, I mentioned yesterday, if we lose that price support right in there, if the bears were inspired, then watch for a test of this price support in here. We didn't make it all the way through to that price support. We did break this little support. So um, the next level would be down in here if those bears find inspiration to push us lower. If the bulls can find um, that inspiration to hold in this area, then once again, we would look for a retest of that resistance right there in the chart. 
And if that breaks, then we're right back up here testing the resistance of the market highs. Right now, um, bulls remain in control of these trends, as you can see. So we still need a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of consolidation, but we'll want to watch that area closely. QQQ, the very same thing is true. We had a little bit of bearish push here, but if you'll notice in that chart, we barely gave up that support area right there in the chart however we did give it up and if those bears find inspiration today then what i would look for is that continued push down into this area to test price uh, levels down here if the bulls find that opportunity to hold in this area to to hang on and hold that support well we could come back up here maybe test that level again we're trying to pop up here this morning already in the qqq to test that level but if that breaks then we start looking at this level up here again as a resistance level that the bulls may push for to test now please keep in mind these are big point moves swinging this around which can be a very challenging wide range chop zone here to try and trade so be careful and just take note how critical this area is a breakthrough up here would really cement an upside uh, trend potential if we were to break out up here could really cement that upside trade potential a breakdown through here could be a critical failure um, in that chart and really send us to some more lows in the market so watch that close if we take a look at our Russell the old IWM had pretty rough day yesterday um, and if we take a look at some of these um, drawings that I've got here on the chart we reacted pretty darn negatively to that uh, downtrend resistance in the chart and we um, ended up breaking this price support um, at, at the same time so we pushed on down and as i mentioned yesterday look for a test down in here if that support was broken and there we have it so we'll watch this area here for that price support we've also got trend in here you can see how this would be a pretty critical failure as well if we were to drop below that level if the bulls find inspiration look for that retest up in uh, this area here which is a big point move and if they break through that then watch that resistance high in here and you could also see how that would be a pretty critical move for the bulls to break the that big downtrend um, and resistance level in the chart so watch these levels closely we've got a lot on our plate here today um, uh, with some critical levels that well uh, support levels that really need to be held if we take a look at our vix our VIX um, spiked up a little bit yesterday. I've been mentioning how complacent this market has been appearing. And honestly, even though we spiked up in a little bit of fear yesterday, nothing changed. If you'll notice right here, our downtrend is still in play on the chart. We didn't really break any um, resistance levels or trend in the VIX. So the bulls still remain in control here. Um, there is um, no sign, uh, at least at this point, that we're just going to continue to um, break through that level and suddenly have that fear coming back into the market. At least yet, the bulls are still in control. Um, I still, however, believe that we are incredibly complacent here in the market. Looking at our economic numbers and knowing what is ahead of us here with um, um, rate increases and recession um, we are being incredibly complacent here in the market and that could make for some painful um, situations if you over trade this long and get caught on the wrong side of it when this sentiment finally slips or flips let's take a look at our t2122 our t2122 this was a good move yesterday for us it relieved a lot of pressure um, in that t2122 now remember t2122 doesn't tell us where which way the market's going to go it just gives us those pressure points up here 
uh, or uh, down below that say, hey, we're overbought in the short term or we're oversold in the short term um, in that move. What we have today is we're kind of in a mid range here um, on T2122. So that tells us if the bulls find inspiration, we've certainly opened up an upside opportunity. So we'll want to watch that closely. But if those bears find inspiration, we still have more downside opportunity before we complete this move back down to that bearish or, or bullish reversal zone here in T2122. If we take a look at our T2108, our T2108 also relieves some pressure. As I've been mentioning, it is um, only a few times over the past few years have we seen um, T2108 spike all the way up into this area. This gets into a pretty rarefied zone um, in, um, in this indicator. And that pullback yesterday relieved some of that pressure. And the good news is it really didn't break anything down so much to really raise any panic. As you can see, we've still got significant price support here in the chart. So that relief, that pullback in here is probably a good thing. It's it's really never a good sign when we are an all or nothing market. For example, when we ran up here um, in summer, July, August time frame, and notice that we stretched out no tests of price support, and then we bomb it all the way back down. Same thing is true over here. We have that potential unless we start testing some price support levels and proving to hold them. We have that potential that something occurs in the market and we just bomb this all the way back down. What I would rather see is a resting consolidation in here um, where we can uh, we can confirm a price level in here a little bit um, and that provides us that opportunity to react bullishly to the upside. These big whips um, are, are dangerous and um, we can see these point moves and how damaging this can be to your accounts um, if you over trade um, in this wild um, all or nothing market. Now our T2107, very much the same thing where we relieve some of that pressure here in that pullback, seeing that straight up move here in T2107, the percentage of stocks above the 200 day is also not a good sign because it, it shows us that all or nothing market. And if something were to snap, how dramatically painful it could be um, in a pullback. So if we can hold above this area of support, I don't think there's any problem here. We may need a little bit more time to rest and consolidate that. But I got to tell you, with all the emotion of um, and all of the hype that the institutions are pumping out of Santa and and um, FOMC and potential um, recession, it's hard to know how um, that's going to play out. So uh, every reason to believe that we could just zoom straight back up or we could continue this move down and consolidate a little bit here in the markets. If we take a look at our T2101, our T2101 has been about as choppy as anything else. Like every other day, it shifts direction here in the chart. And interestingly enough, um, a lot of that is due to the fact that volumes have been kind of light. Now, yesterday, as you can see with that big point move, Diamond's volume was pretty light. Uh, spy volume, pretty light. QQQ, same thing. So there was really no conviction um, in that bearish move um, to really drive things lower. It was just kind of that slow, steady bleed to the downside in reaction to those um, ISM um, services numbers. So um, how we respond from here is anyone's guess. Um, as long as we hold on to that support level, we're in good shape. If we lose those support levels, that could be a problem. Now let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot for us to, to uh, be inspired off of today. International trading goods 
that's something we'll want to be paying attention to. Consensus is suggesting that the deficit in international trading goods is back on the upside swing. So we'll want to watch that. Um, could move the market if that comes in as a shocking number, but typically um, the market tends to ignore this number pretty, pretty regularly. And then we have uh, some bill announcements. So not much going on here. Uh, when it comes to our calendar. If we take a look at our earnings uh, calendar today, we have a little more than we had yesterday to potentially drive us around here on the earnings reports. Um, let me run through those really quickly. AVAV um, would be a notable today. Um, AZO may be one of the most notables today. Looks like we got a little pop and drop going on in AZO. Um, Casey, uh, Casey's General Stores, uh, CONN will be on that list today. We've got uh, some Dave and Busters um, here to be paying attention to uh, today. Um, um, MDB um, will be reporting. Uh, Stitch Fix will be reporting today. We've got uh, Signet Jewelers. Um, looks like it's popping up after um, it's um, pretty painful selling yesterday, but it popping up on its earnings report. Um, SWBI, um, I've got on that notable list, and also Toll Brothers that uh, may be interesting considering the housing situation here in the market. So watch that one um, after the bell today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, uh, once again, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and that would be click those thumbs up buttons leave that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that i truly appreciate it and always please feel free in fact it's very helpful if you share um, this video on your social media feed it attracts more folks to the video and they may find it helpful as well so thank you very much let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and let's please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, we're going to have to do, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be a little bit careful here in the market as we um, battle around on this support and resistance level in these big point moves. First off, let's take a look at um, a couple of charts that I think are pretty important right now. Let's um, watch this dollar. Um, one of the reasons we saw those bears so active yesterday, the dollar was surging higher here. And what we're seeing this morning is we've got a little bit of a, a pop and drop going on in the dollar, maybe a uh, negative reaction here to price resistance and downtrend. If the dollar continues to weaken here in the market, that will um, typically help um, the, the market rally here. So watch that close here in that chart. We're also seeing big moves uh, because of this dollar fluctuating so much. Big moves in gold and silver. I mentioned yesterday gold and silver to be um, on the watch list to be uh, carefully paying attention to and I suggested that I would wait for a rest or pullback. My goodness, did a pullback yesterday as that dollar surged higher. But what I want to see is I want to see um, us holding some support levels in this chart. Um, although we've got lots of volatility, let's calm that down. Let's hold a higher low in here someplace to um, authorize some kind of an upside trend. So wait on these trades. Don't chase them. Be patient. Make the trade come to you. GLD, silver would be another to be paying attention to. Copper, um, also very, very important after breaking through this resistance here in the chart, this little pullback in here and rest, if that can rest out here to trend, that's where I would be looking for that opportunity into that chart. So keep an eye on FCX. Other places to look, we had an interesting um, pop in a lot of tech yesterday, but then it kind of, um, kind of slid south again. If we take a look at... Um, um, NVIDIA. 
NVIDIA is one that I'm keeping an eye on. Um, as you can see here, let me change this chart a little bit. We've we're trying to sneak out from underneath this downtrend here. We've got quite a little bit of resistance in this chart that we're trying to deal with and consolidate through. But overall, this trend is bullish. And so I'm watching this chart in here in this nice little resting consolidation that we're seeing in here. If this comes out and contacts this trend someplace, watch for that bullish signal to maybe occur. That might be an opportunity to pick up some NVIDIA. Now, for me, what I'm looking at is I want to hold this longer term. If I look at this longer term chart, as you can see, breaking that downtrend in here, more than just a swing trade, that opportunity may be just to swing back up in here longer term toward that middle of the range here would be a huge point move in NVIDIA if you have that willingness to hold a little bit longer. So watch that closely um, if NVIDIA can, does complete this pattern. Um, other places that you may want to look now, why I've said that, Apple continues to run into these production problems and issues with China talking about moving their, um, their operations from China to India. India. Um, so um, we continue to have this issue. We spiked up so much on that news um, last, uh, last week that what we did is we ended up running straight into the price resistance of the chart of downtrend in this area. I actually have a short position on this and that little shooting star pattern here at the price resistance is giving me a little bit of hope that that may be the, the correct decision. But we're going to have to be really careful on these texts. They're very, very sensitive right now to um, news out of China. So watch that closely. This still has that potential to go um, any you know, any way. But that failure here yesterday after that big attempt to pop, um, that could be a little bit of a problem. And as we know, um, Apple's having some struggles with getting those iPhones um, manufactured. We're, they're having struggles in getting them sold with the inflation problems that we're seeing here in the market and the constriction of the consumer. So keep a close eye on that. Um, other places that you could uh, take a look in the market. We had a pretty substantial decline in energies yesterday. Um, um, we had um, a big pop early in the day on um, energy prices, but they quickly started to fade and really started moving lower. If we take a look at XLE, XLE breaking down here below this support this morning. Now this is gonna be critical with that dollar move. If the dollar continues to remain weak and weakens more, I would expect this to push right back up. But if that dollar starts to strengthen and we start to um, see demand destruction in the market due to the economy, then we would see those oil prices sink and a rally back in here to the downtrend would set up a pretty interesting short. So keep an eye on XLE and some of those energy plays here in the market. Um, other places, um, remember I have a bias on this, but TLT. Um, TLT has been moving up my, um, uh, I added to this trade in here. I've been holding small positions of this for a while, but I added to this trade right in here and you can see we're moving up nicely and I'm going to plan this for a longer term hold as well. If, um, we start recovering here in the market, um, we're going to start seeing these 20 year treasuries be picked up pretty hard and heavy. So watch that close, really nice trade at the moment. Um, and it looks like we have a little bit more upside here in that position today. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, Hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for watching today and, and being part of the channel. I truly appreciate it. I want to wish you, um, great success and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have an awesome day.